Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be taking you with me while I make some crochet orders for my friends. Here's what I have so far. My friend wanted a blobfish hat like the one from Stardew Valley. I've already made the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. I wasn't able to actually film myself crocheting because it took a lot of experimenting and frogging to figure out the pattern. Also, I just realized I didn't write the pattern down. <sighs> but if anyone's interested in this hat, just comment down below and I'll try to remake it. Here's a glimpse of my little filming setup or my little corner of the room. It's just a little table with a cloth on top of it and every time I film, I iron out the cloth first because it gets wrinkled really fast. I also wanted to show you guys my yarn haul from Shopee's 88 sale. They're mostly for my friend's orders, but I also bought myself a new set of crochet hooks for my crew crochet. It's an unbranded set, and there are 9 hook sizes spanning from 0.5mm to 2.25mm. I was so excited for this to arrive, and it only costed 188 pesos. I've only used it a few times, but it's been pretty comfortable to work with, so I recommend it if you want to try a cheap hook set to get introduced to micro crochet. Here's an overview of the haul. We've got pink yarn, orange yarn, gray yarn, some more pink yarn, mercerized cotton, and my crochet hooks. Alright, let's get started. Mr. Blobfish is waiting to get assembled. Here, I'm just finishing up the beanie. Does anybody else feel nervous when you're about to cut off the yarn? It kind of feels like there's no more going back. This is the sketch I made when I was conceptualizing the pattern. It was originally gonna have fins and a tail like the original hat design. But at the end, we scrapped that so that you could have a two-way beanie, a normal looking one at the front, and a blobfish at the back. Yay, it's almost done. I've finished sewing almost all of the pieces. I just need to weave some more ends. For some reason, the nose was pointing upwards. So uh, I decided to stick a pin to help it stay down. This is what the aftermath looked like. At this point, I was so tired, but I still needed to clean up. Sadly, I think I accidentally deleted the pictures I took of the finished piece. But here's me trying it on.
And this is when I realized I'm not very good at filming while I work. So here's another finished order. It's a bird book pouch inspired from this mini chicken one I made. Luckily, I was able to find a notebook with similar dimensions as the ones that was requested. I actually had to frog the first trial because I made it too small. But at the end, it turned out so good. The little arms and the little feet are so cute. On to the next project. So here I have a bucket hat that's way too big for some reason. I decided to just suck it up and frog everything. This is the first bucket hat I made. It's a Shrek bucket hat. I used the exact same pattern with the white one, but for some reason it turned out way bigger. Here you can see me comparing the sizes. So... Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, just unravel and start with the smaller hook size so that the tension's right this time. Time to fix the mess. <sighs> it ended up full of knots. I shouldn't have haphazardly unraveled. Next time, unravel as you go. Before I'm able to use the yarn winder, I'll have to uh, fix up the knots first. <laughs> Finally, I have a clip of myself crocheting. But also, this is the last clip. I'm sorry, I don't have a clip of the finished products anymore. Here's a picture. I thought I'd end this video by summing up all of the hats and projects I made the past month. That I also haven't posted on my Instagram because I'm lazy to take and edit photos. But you should follow me on my Instagram anyway because I post cute photos and art and doodles. But I also post stories more often of behind the scenes. And I even hold balls sometimes on what tutorial to do next. I also repost some of the stories you guys tag me on when you recreate my tutorials. I'm also String Beans on IG. Okay, back to the hats. Of course, our first one is the blobfish hat. Next, we have a Shrek hat. A plain white bucket hat. An eggshell hat that I made even though it wasn't part of this vlog. This one was actually inspired by Animal Crossing. Of course, we can't forget about the chicken pouches. And that's it! Thank you so much for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. It was actually so fun to make. I recently made my first community post. Yay, YouTube finally unlocked it for my channel. Asking which vlog style you guys preferred. And many of you guys wanted me to add a narration, so here it is! Thank you so much to everyone who voted on the poll. I hope I didn't disappoint with the narration and all. Anyway, feel free to comment down below if you'd like a tutorial on any of the projects I showed. Or if you don't want a tutorial, you can also comment down which one was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like seeing my content. Until next time, bye!